Hello. Congratulations for coming this far in this being watch for Testflix. My name is Lalit and I'm going to talk with you about quality conscious software delivery. Here is a little bit about myself. I won't be spending much time on telling you who I am, but if you're interested to know more about me, please feel free to visit talesoftesting.com and connect with me and we can talk more. I have an interesting story to tell you today. And I'm sure this is not very different than the stories that you all must be facing in your respective project teams. This is a story of the solution that we found for the times that we are facing. Like many other project teams, we had difficult challenges about ambiguous milestones, lots of bugs, frustrated testers and programmers, constant dilemma of choosing between product quality and product features. But within this all, among this all, what we had was an amazing project team which was committed to do different experiments and come out of this puddle we were stuck into. And before I tell you what we really did, here is the result that I would like to present. Before and after of the experiments that we did, and we noticed that our lead time was extremely reduced and the time we were spending on QA activities, so to say, it was greatly reduced. All in all, we performed this experiment which helped us ship the quality products in a very faster time and we achieved more than what we had achieved historically. If you're wondering what we actually did, what we exactly did, then we tried to change the way we were looking at software quality, our notions of quality, and we tried to fine tune it with this quality model that I developed based on my discussions with Michael Bolton. Quality has three notions predominantly, product quality, project quality, and people quality. And it is important for us to consider these three notions when we are delivering the product, just focusing on product quality alone or quality of the people alone or the quality of the project alone is not going to help. Consciously investing in people, product and project quality is likely to help you come up with a quality product in shortest possible time in a way that stands up to scrutiny and the test of quality. To read and understand more about this, I encourage you to please visit my blog or visit my articles I have published on LinkedIn and you will get more ideas. Here is a quality model in short, how people project and quality uh, is changing or supposed to be understood in different way, considering whether it is about project or people or product. And what we really did was we implemented a framework that helped us understand things more clearly and touch them and improve them more precisely by implementing quality conscious software delivery, as I call it. And this precisely means delivering quality products by quality conscious people using quality empowering processes and enable, engage, execute and evaluate is more or less the uh, framework that we implemented. And here is a snapshot of it enabling people to engage and think about quality using your processes as a catalyst is a key factor here you can engage people in quality related activities you can do more pairing you can do more uh, joint ventures uh, execution of the things you have decided and constantly evaluating how you are performing with all these quality conscious efforts try and see if you are able to change your planning and grooming meetings and make them more concrete uh, we implemented heuristic test strategy model and implemented it at different levels of our planning meetings on our grooming sessions for pairing and all. And that helped us in a great way. Here is a short overview of the strategy that we developed based on quality conscious product, uh, quality conscious software delivery. As you can see, we made changes in our processes. We got rid of whip limits. Uh, sorry, we implemented whip limits. We got rid of uh, dedicated QA column in our structure and we started using SMT IPOT to perform our user story analysis and risk analysis. On people level, we started heavy empowering uh, pairing sessions and on product side, we had different uh, constraints analysis on our automation strategy, implementing things on uh, monitoring level, bringing testers more on consultation than just making them follow the scripts, uh, documenting things that matter, coming up, coming up with project specific heuristic for our quality constraints. It helped us a lot to the great extent. Here is a short overview of things that we changed and that really helped us. 
uh, in a nutshell. Web limits, getting rid of QA column, implementing SFD IPT or any heuristic for that matter that helps you to make your grooming meetings more productive, performing detailed risk analysis, trying to find risk as early as much early in the process and not letting those translate into software bugs to be found on later time. On the product side, implementing, improving on testability, SFG OPT for improving more coverage, discussing quality criteria. So all in all, this is quality conscious software delivery for you. Uh, I'm sorry, nine, 10 minutes are really not enough to help you get through details of it, but I'm offering public workshops and also offering my consultation. If you would like to discuss more about this, know more about it, please get in touch with me and I'm sure I can help you much better and we can have more interesting conversations. Thank you so much and have a great watching and have a great time. Bye.